Imagine you're a jailed robber who has just gotten out of jail, and the first thing you do is to check the place where you've hid the stolen money. But there's a problem. The construction site where you hid the money is now a school, and you don't know how you'll get your money out of there. Suck Me Shakespeare is a 2013 German comedy film where an ex-convict, Zeki Muller, who after getting released from the prison sets on a quest to retrieve the money that he had robbed prior to his jail trip. The movie starts in an educational class in prison where the lady professor is seen criticizing Zeki for having the worst performance in the course. Zeki is a young reckless adult who has almost completed his jail sentence and is about to be released in a week. Finally, the day of his release comes and Zeki gets his freedom back. After completing a 13-month sentence, he starts celebrating his freedom. Soon he meets his friend, Charlie, and almost immediately asks her about the money that he got from the last bank robbery. She guides him to a schoolyard, where she buried Zeki's money under a construction site. According to her, the school was the safest place as nobody would suspect stolen money to be hidden in a school. When Zeki follows the coordinates on the map to reach the destination, he surprisingly discovers that a new gymnasium has been constructed over the construction site. And understandably, he is pissed at Charlie. Soon after, a strip club owner punches Zeki as Zeki owes him a debt of 2,000 euros. Zeki then promises to return the money in two weeks. Later, Zeki devises a plan to find a seller in the gymnasium and dig his way to the money. Charlie feels a bit hesitant about his plan, but Zeki decides to apply for a janitor position at the school to get access to the place. The next morning, he arrives at the school by running down all the bicycles with his car. Inside the school, Zeki encounters a girl named Lizzie who guides him to the principal's office. Outside the principal's office, Zeki is worried to see other candidates waiting for their turn for the interview. So he plays a trick by turning off the fire alarm. This creates chaos in the hall resulting in all the candidates fleeing away. When the principal hears the noise, she comes out of her office only to find Zeki in the waiting hall. So she proceeds to take his interview, but she wrongly assumes he has come to interview for the position of a substitute teacher. Moreover, she offers him a salary package of 2200 euros, which Zeki is more than happy to accept. Next, Lizzie is seen being protective of her younger sister, Laura, who feels ashamed of Lizzie. Lizzie was a student in the school previously, and after completing her studies, she got a job in the same school. However, as a new teacher, she does not impose strict authority to manage the students properly, as students of the school are quite stubborn and naughty. Zicky meets Lizzie and asks her to guide him through the syllabus. Later that night, Zicky arrives at her house and secretly spikes her drink. When Lizzie falls unconscious, he quickly attempts to make a copy of her teaching certificate because he does not have any documents to prove his educational qualification. But the printer fails to work, so he takes a copy of it on a USB. Just then, Lizzie's friend, Kurt arrives and Zeki, somehow manages to make it look like Lizzie slept with him after drinking. The next day at the school, Zeki ignores Lizzie in the parking lot, and in his first day as a substitute teacher, he snatches lunch from the students after which he enters a class only to find a teacher attempting to commit suicide. Ingrid Lambach Nor is the homeroom teacher of class 10B, which is the most mischievous class in the entire school. In fact, the class is so bad that Miss Ingrid is actually faking her suicide attempt to get herself away from class 10B. After Miss Ingrid gets taken away to the hospital, the teacher's council sits down in a meeting to discuss the fate of class 10B. Since no teacher is ready to substitute in place of Ingrid, Liz is asked to take over the management of Class 10B. After the meeting, Lizzie meets up with Zeki to clear up things about last night. Poor girl believes she had a one-night stand with Zeki, which she doesn't even remember. Liz requests Zeki not to misinterpret things and forget whatever happened, and Zeki is more than happy to do so. Later, Zeki is given the task to take over the management of Lizzie's former 7th grade class as the substitute teacher. However, he does not teach them anything. Instead, he asks the students to make a list of movies so they can pass the time quickly. He even hands each student a snack so they can enjoy their time. On the other hand, Lissy faces a tough time in her class after the students brutally prank her, make a fool out of her, and force her to leave the classroom. After the class, Lizzie enters the staff room in a horrible state, but the principal feels no pity for her. At night, Zeki works in the cellar of the school on a tunnel, so that he can retrieve the buried money. Meanwhile, Lizzie is seen crying in her house after getting bullied by the students. Her friend, Koro, is printing the class lectures from Lizzie's printer and finds Lizzie's teaching diploma in it. Lizzie quickly figures out that Seki tried to make a copy of it 
and she rushes to the school to check the teacher's archives. Turns out that Zeki submitted the same result as Lissy to the school management by editing his name on the certificate. Lissy then confronts Zeki and tells him that she will tell the school management everything. Afraid of getting his cover blown, Zeki offers, what if I take class 10B out of your hands? Reflecting on what happened with that class, Lissy decides to take upon this offer. The next day, they convince the principal that Lissy wants her old 7th grade class back and Zeki wants to take over class 10B. Zeke enters class 10B and much like Lizzie, he too gets pranked by the cruel students. He eats a bucket full of black gooey stuff poured all over him. And the prank doesn't just stop at that. Oh no, the students glue Zeki to his chair, and when he tries to get away in his car, he gets feathers blown all over his face and body. Poor Zeki must have found jail to be easier than managing class 10B. At night, Zeki continues digging the tunnel, and the next morning he arrives in the class with a paintball gun to knock out the students who try to misbehave. Lizzie enters his class to borrow chalk and is shocked to see the students traumatized. Since she is too kind-hearted, she tries to convince Zeki to treat the students politely but Zeki pays no heed to whatever she says. That night, Zeki is thrown out of the strip club where he was living. Unfortunately, he even smashes his car's windshield and the night gets even worse as he is unable to spend the night in his car due to heavy rain pouring inside the car through the broken windshield. So he tries to take refuge in Lizzie's garage. Lizzie freaks out seeing him but lets him sleep the night there. Later on Zeki's request, she allows him to stay in her garage for two weeks only if he teaches Class 10B properly instead of making them watch movies during class hours. Later, Zeki finds reports of the class students and discovers that most of them are drug users and indulged in criminal activities. During swim class, a student named Daniel misbehaves with Zeki, and as a result, Zeki violently holds him underwater until he apologizes for his misbehavior. Lizzie is horrified by Zeki's unconventional attitude with the students and asks him to work on it. Later, Zeki takes Lizzie to a strip club, where she keeps guiding him to work towards the betterment of the students. At night, while digging the tunnel, Zeki listens to lectures on how to teach students and understand their psyche. The next day, Lizzie arranges an acting activity for the students of Class 10B, but is disappointed after seeing the students' thuggish behavior. Later at the club, Zeki's friend offers him a high-budget gig, which is to drive a getaway armored car during a bank robbery. But Zeki refuses to accept it. Seeing Zeki's improved behavior, his friend Charlie keeps teasing him and makes him realize his new attitude might be because of him getting attracted to Lizzie. There's some romance brewing up. Good for Zeki. Anyway, Zeki keeps digging the tunnel, but this particular night, he finds Lizzie's time capsule buried underneath. Inside it, he finds Lizzie's childhood picture and a note indicating how insecure she was for being overweight. Later, he gets wasted by drinking too much and ends up in his class, after which the students give him a rather feminine makeover. Lizzie sends him home so he can come back to school after his hangover. At home, Zeki discovers Laura attempting to commit suicide with her online friend by wrapping their heads in a plastic bag. Turns out Laura has a crush on Daniel, but he keeps ignoring her. This has made Laura insecure as she thinks she is not pretty. So Zeki takes her to Charlie and asks her to give Laura a makeover. Later, he drops the now glowed up Laura to the school and arranges an affair for her with Daniel. The next day, the principal informs Zeki about Class 10B's absurd result and gives him a last chance to work towards the class's improvement. Zeki decides to take the students on a field trip. To convince the students that they do not want to become drug dealers and dependent on welfare, he takes them to visit his acquaintances who live this lifestyle. Later, he persuades Chantal, a rebellious student of his class, to befriend intelligent nerds of the school, so she can improve her academics. With time, Zeki becomes more and more involved in the school even takes over the control of the drama club and prepares the students to perform a modern version of Romeo and Juliet. He starts taking a softer approach toward the students, gaining their respect eventually. Laura and Daniel also start getting close to each other. When the student ranking results come in, Zeki receives the highest votes for being the coolest teacher. However, Lizzie is sad to not have received any ranking. Seeing Lizzie sad, Zeki devises a plan. He takes his class, along with Lizzie, on an excursion to paint graffiti on a train. The students are impressed with Lizzie's artistic skills and Zeki's plan works. The next day, Lizzie is stunned to see the students respecting her. Due to this, Lizzie passes her practical teaching exam with Class 10B and the faculty is highly impressed with her efforts. 
The day of child welfare about Lizzie's guardianship for Laura comes and unfortunately, she gets high that day. To keep Laura from being deprived of her home, Zicky pretends to be Lizzie's boyfriend and impresses the social worker with his righteous and charming attitude. Later, Lizzie thanks Zeki and tries to get close to him, but he pushes her away. Finally, Zeki is in happy tears to find the money in the tunnel. He pays his debt to the strip club owner and gives Charlie her share, but he decides to continue his job of being a substitute teacher since the students have become too fond of him. On the day of the students' final drama show, Greta, Daniel's girlfriend, misbehaves with Laura. So Zeki secretly mixes a laxative in her drink as a result of which Greta becomes sick and Laura gets to perform her part. Finally, everyone is happy after their school wins a second position in the drama competition. Seeing Zeki's outstanding performance, the principal offers him a permanent job at school, but he refuses. Later, during a physical exercise class, Lizzie discovers the tunnel beneath the gymnasium that caused the floor to break. She gets into the tunnel only to find Zeki underneath filling in the tunnel. Lizzie is scared and heartbroken after she learns about Zeki's criminal history and asks him to leave his job in her home. Zeki leaves the school and the students miss him and keep inquiring about his return. On the day of their final German exam, they all take out their motivation photos. Lizzie is confused to see this and opens Zeki's drawer only to find her photograph that he kept as his motivation to become a better person. Just then, Charlie arrives in the class with Laura and hands Lizzie a letter from Zeki. In the letter, Zeki explains to her that he was sincere with her all along and also sent her the money that he retrieved from the tunnel for the repair of the school. Moreover, Charlie asks Lizzie to stop Seki from committing another robbery which he has apparently agreed to be part of. Ingrid arrives at the school to inform the principal that she is retiring from the school job. The principal is worried about Class 10B as there is no teacher available for them. Meanwhile, Zeki reluctantly agrees to drive the getaway car for the bank robbery. Just then, Lizzie tries to connect with him, but the connection is lost. When the robbery is about to start, three students stop Seki asking him to buy alcohol for the prom night. Seki also sees the train with the graffiti and instantly decides to quit the robbery. He goes straight to Lizzie and hands her a bag while pretending to be on the run. Lizzie is heartbroken to know that she will be away from Seki for many years, but just then she looks inside the bag only to find a dress and an invitation to the prom. She is in happy tears and quickly gets glammed up for the prom night. When Zeki sees the breathtakingly gorgeous Lizzie, he kisses her immediately. Later, the principal summons Zeki to her room and informs him that the Class 10B has massively improved and if they continue to work towards them, the school will be listed among the top 10 schools in the country. Just then, Zeki takes the opportunity to spill the truth by telling the principal that he is unqualified for the job and does not hold a teaching certificate. But since there's no one else who can take care of Class 10B, the principal fabricates a falsified high school certificate with a 2.9 GPA to keep him in the school for as long as he can. Zeki is elated to have the certificate and continue his job. The film ends with the entire school enjoying the prom night. Well, that's the end of this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like this video and most importantly, subscribe to the channel to never miss out on future uploads.